Welcome to System in MATLAB. Here we'll be comparing two conventional techniques. One is a dogman's technique and then the other one is SVM based iris recognition technique. Well, the work supports both cache as well as MMU database. The training uh, adopts an iris segmentation which is uh, originally being proposed by dogman's which we of course modified. Uh, so we'll straight away go into the work. We'll be going for training. Uh, now, in order to uh, make it quicker, we'll be going with uh, training for three instances. It's going to load the one image. It's going to put a boundary across the image, extract the iris part, and then generate a template. This is the iris template. So for every image, it's going to generate a template and uh, the interesting thing is uh, the training process will be uh, the method by means of which uh, the training creates an iris template which are nothing but sets of zeros and ones. Uh, Dogman's technique is a template matching technique so this template suits it but the modern kernel based classifiers like SVM classifier if you want to go for HMM or something like neural network, you really require to extract numeric features out of this uh, template. So we are going to do both. We are going to have a template matching technique and then we are also going to have a numeric technique. So now once the images have been loaded, the, it shows the amount of time it takes. Uh, there are of course 250 persons in the database. So it takes um, longer time. I'll be testing with uh, Dogman's uh, method. You know, less number of images it shows accuracy of about 80. However, it should really go up to 90 if you consider, you know, classes up to uh, 100, 200. Now, I'm going to show you uh, how the single iris is detected. Basically, I'm using the MMU iris database. I'm going to use a particular person's left eye say I'm using person number two's left eye uh, say going to select the third image detected classes three it's a wrong detection surely MMU iris database say person number one left eye <coughs> going to select one uh, specific image say for instance the fifth image so the detection is correct now we are going to test with the SVM based technique it's a multi class SVM basically winner takes it all technique where one iris class is going to be compared with uh, all the iris classes and when you go for rate um, you know total matching is 100 Obviously, uh, SBM based technique should uh, give us better better result. You can also go for Cassia database. So you select it. You can go for the train method. Uh, you know, again, uh, I'll select two person. It's a color iris database. It extracts the features. You know, it removes the retina part, and then whatever iris part is uh, there, it extracts the feature from the iris path so there will be few misdetection based on the, the position of the eyes however in most of the cases the segmentation is going to be um, accurate it's all accurate case of segmentation once it is done it's going to show you the elapsed time of training so you can really calculate how much time it's been taken for training uh, training the database and now you can go with uh, testing dogman's method uh, accuracy is about 70 percent I'll, I'll tell you if you consider totally 250 classes there are, uh, you know it, it, this gives you an accuracy of about 96 to 97 percent going with dogman's method if you go for cache here database it's a version one database left eye I have taken only two persons you know you know select third it detects perfectly so uh, uh, you know this is how the iris recognition uh, works so SVM technique uses uh, you know when it takes it all uh, to compare it, it takes a little longer time than uh, dogman's technique and, and relies on feature extraction whereas dogman's technique is quite faster I uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, demonstration of iris recognition thanks for watching